Public health is a key area in human endeavor. And the School of Public Health, on the last count, has over two, three hundred students doing studies at postgraduate level. And the School of Public Health prepares students for the industry. The reason for setting up the School of Public Health was to um, establish um, a training program that will give opportunity for interdisciplinary research and um, interdisciplinary collaboration that results in uh, the teaching and, of course, uh, research studies in uh, various aspects of um, public health especially aspects of public health that are of uh, special needs in our current in environment. The School of Public Health has done very well and has helped in marketing the university globally. People are applying to the programs from all over the world. The School of Public Health is unique in the sense that it offers a hybrid learning platform in the sense that um, lectures are given both on-site and online. On-site, we have com very comfortable classrooms and lecture halls with uh, audiovisual uh, systems that facilitate teaching and learning. In fact, we have some students uh, that are even resident in the United States and the United Kingdom. They are able to attend lectures because our lectures are, of course, online and uh, real time. And we have ensured that um, the lectures are both uh, interactive and as much as possible um, covered every area of public health, not only the theoretical aspect, but also the practical aspect. Yeah, so one beautiful thing of uh, School of Public Health, what I call is the flexibility. You know, it's flexible in terms of you can actually combine your work and study. Um, the premises is okay, it's conducive to learn. The structure, the, um, the personnel and all have been wonderful. We take uh, special care. We ensure that um, the problems of uh, each student is uh, taken care of as much as possible without uh, compromising standards. Cool. I work in medical records department in the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital. Being that my first degree was health information management, okay, I got into School of Public Health. I had to do the postgraduate diploma in, in public health, went ahead with the master's. Looking at the nature of our work and then my desire to get a higher degree, I developed interest in public health because I personally have this act of service. So after enrolling into the program, I think it's given my career a clear path. So applying what I learned in school and even in my department is very easy and direct. The School of Public Health is fully digitalized. And that is why, even during strike, their programs run. We have um, facilities that uh, make it easier for those resident outside uh, River State to actually learn. We have a, a learning management platform um, that actually coordinates the whole process, including uh, the scheduling of the lectures, the submission of assignments, and of course, access to the lecture materials. We also have an e-library that has thousands of e-books, uh, which the students can access uh, free of charge, and those e-books cover all aspects of, of their training and then the students have uh, full access to it. One, students who are even in the industry can come to learn more. Two, those who are experts in the industry also collaborate with us in the School of Public Health to train others to become experts in their respective fields. So there's a whole lot of partnership going on between the School of Public Health and many health-related industries all over the place. Now, as you know, uh, we are here to ensure that we expand training at the graduate level, you know, as well as research in public health related issues. And then um, uh, we have both national and regional students. Now, the School of Public Health has, over the years, been an attraction, you know, for quite a lot of students at the postgraduate level, talking about masters and PhD, both from Nigeria and from other parts of Africa. And in fact, at this point, from every part of the world. It has been um, a mode of knowledge and a mode of skills for us that are very, very, very impactful. So basically we have a lot of persons from Ghana, from America, from Canada who are hooked up online with us to make sure this program goes successful. You know, 
So we've attracted quite a lot and they've been involved in all the postgraduate program. Also, uh, we've seen good results, you know, because we see students graduating on record time, you know, and also ensuring that uh, the visibility of the university as well as the subsistence within the university, you know, is very clear for everyone globally. Uh, regional students are, are under the sponsorship, yeah, clear sponsorship, meaning that they do not pay tuition and we make arrangements for them to support their research as well as some of their uh, living costs with respect to accommodation why they are with us. And these students, uh, a lot of them are studying in the School of Public Health, various programs there, you know, and the funding is coming from the World Bank AFD funding, which we got through the ACE Impact Scheme. Uh, that has worked up uh, very well for the last four sections, you know, of academics we have engaged students with. So the students have very good uh, learning resources. Mm -hmm. That has actually made it very interesting, as a lot of them will attest to. So I came here because of the, um, the timely nature of the activities. You know, is um, uninterrupted, you no know, strike activities. The, you can you could, you could project when you actually um, end the program. Our admission is completely online and the website is as displayed and in that website all the admission processes are clearly explained.